GABA can't get across that blood-brain barrier very easily, can it? No, it's a large molecule. So most things cannot get across that blood-brain barrier unless they have a transporter, right? Yes. And so GABA does not have that capacity. And so people take GABA supplements and they feel relaxed and calm, which is what GABA is supposed to do. This could mean they have a leaky brain. Right. And that scares people. But what we mean by that is that their blood-brain barrier is not doing what it's supposed to do to keep things out. And usually, uh, that's also a sign that you have a leaky gut. Right, so if you address the leaky gut, oftentimes you're gonna see the brain, the barrier get better too. And this is why it's so important to understand how the GABA system works. And again, GABA supplements do not work. If they do work for you, it means that you might have a leaky brain. This often means a leaky gut. So get that checked out, see, see a doctor and see if you can do something about it. So a really easy way is to start working on your behavior, your lifestyle, to work on your GABA levels. So decrease your stress, decrease the amount of things you're doing every day, try to relax more, get better sleep. But there's also supplements you can try that actually work on the GABA receptor that aren't GABA itself. This could be things like kava and hanakayal and agarin and CBD and CBG and others that are in our products at Transcriptions. Mm -hmm.